the original version of Fortnite was being developed. It was being developed to be uh, because like zombie games were really popular. And over the course of three or four year development time, guess what? Trends changed and all of a sudden here we are. All right, uh, let's move on to uh, this deep dive we wanted to get into today. We want to talk Call of Duty. All right. Um, mm. Everybody here, especially Blabs, is a Call of Duty expert, uh, especially. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But uh, call, we're talking about one of the one of the biggest franchises in video games. Uh, BT here is an expert. That is what your channel is built around. Over four hundred thousand subscribers. So as you play Call of Duty and games like Call of Duty, um, mm. you know, on a day to day basis, that, that is kind of what you do. Describe kind of like what your channel is like it's more than just playing call of duty You're talking about the games and then and i'll uh, just kind of give us a quick rundown um i started in 2007 playing uh like halo 3 gears of war recording it off of vhs tape i'm that old and then <laughs> call of duty 4 came out uh started uploading that as well and that was the key because i was i was uh it was getting better and better as i played gears and halo and stuff like that by the time cod 4 came out I was I was pretty good and then nobody else really was so I'm like hmm I should like post how to get better at this game for people started doing that played it up until Black Ops 2 which many consider to be the best of the entire series uh I agree with that that sentiment and then um after that got a little rocky uh I made a second YouTube channel and kind of got it cuz Ghost came out after that and well uh Call of Duty Ghost came out. Not good. Sorry if you like it. And then, you know, it was like, it was it was less that uh, good game year after year and more just a hit than two misses, a hit than two misses. You know, uh, Craig, you said you, you tapped out of Infinite Warfare. A lot of people did. Right. Uh, and then they maybe came back with Modern Warfare. The not It's not a remake either. I don't know why they call it that. Chronologically, they're all fucked up with just the, you know. They're, they're chronologically they're all messed up but anyway um i came back in in 2019 with modern warfare because i'm like this game is awful <laughs> and uh pretty much since then i've been playing the bare minimum i can and just being like wow this is terrible like every single year and i hate that it's come to that but um x defiant did just come out and that's made by an x call of duty dev from the golden mark. years mark rubin mm -hmm. and an x call of duty pro player um and they actually hit up the Call of Duty community for for balance like tips. They they got uh, Drifter on. He's a another old school uh, Call of Duty guy. Exclusive Ace is another old school Call of Duty guy. They they hit up the people that play their games the most and the biggest fans for the feedback. And X Defiant has I, I, I've got about forty five hours played on it since it came out two weeks ago. I am not touching Call of Duty for the rest of the year. Um, wow, you know that's that's how bad it's gotten. Uh, yeah, that's essentially the channel right now. It's complaining about Call of Duty, enjoying X Defiant. I got people saying Ubisoft's paying me off. I got people saying like, if you don't like Call of Duty, don't play it. I'm like, man, I'm too far in now. I'm I'm stuck. I'm stuck here. Like, you know. So right. Well, yeah, that's a you know, that, yeah. So so your your entire channel is built around this. You know this this game, this franchise, right? And mm -hmm, uh, yeah. X Defiant coming, you could see a shift here, but. You know, we were talking about like at a certain point, uh, Eric. You said you were more of a Battlefield player than a than a Call of Duty player. Did you did you play any Call of Duty at all? I I, I kind of got into Call of Duty when they started doing uh, battle royales because that's was kind of my thing for the last. Oh, geez, how long has PUBG been out, or even before that? But yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was more of a Battlefield guy before that. Do I did some Battlefield leagues back in the two thousands, but. Battlefields died. It used to be Call of Duty versus Battlefield around 2010, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what? Battlefield One came out, and nobody's played it since. So right. Well, so yeah, Call around. of Duty. So Call of Duty, it it uh, you know, Modern War, mo the original Modern Warfare in 2007. That was like the line in the sand. This is mm -hmm. the next level of Call of Duty, and you know, we're talking. I think everybody will see sees this, and they immediately know exactly. You know, the map. They know everything about this. They know, you know, if you if you played modern warfare you know this map you know all the ins and outs of it you you oh, have man. memories oh. of playing this game right this um, is the, yeah this, this is the the this is the map strike with the ak-74u blue tiger camo yep <laughs> you know exactly you what's going on i love I it. know exactly what's going on yep yeah that's great uh which 
I, I would never say I was a good Call of Duty player at by any means. Um, but man, do man, did I love playing this? This is such so fun, so fun. Yeah. Uh, the like introduction of kill streaks and and nukes and uh, attack helicopters and like that was pretty pretty game changing um, mm -hmm. back in the day for sure. And uh, now you know if you fast forward and granted it's been you know, been almost two decades. This that game was 2007. Yeah. It's now 2024. When you look at Call of Duty, people don't recognize Call of Duty. Um, you know, there's now this. This is the uh, thing going around right now. With Call of Duty and Gundam, the crossover that's that's going on. And it's like, how? I guess the big question is, BT, how did we get here? How did we get to Call of Duty crossing over with Gundam Mobile? We got here because uh, after Black Ops 2, they kind of lost a lot of steam. Um, from 2000, you could, you could argue the beginning from Call of Duty 1 to Black Ops 2, I think they were doing their own thing and they were innovating and they were pushing the envelope and trend setting. Games were ripping them off, not the other way around. After Ghost came out and kind of flopped, and then advanced war they they, did, they went with advanced warfare which was just kind of like a titanfall ripoff around that ball like around that point i think they started to lose their way by the time modern warfare 2019 came out um they switched to battle royale that helped a lot but again if you look at warzone and stuff a lot of their stuff is just ripping off fortnite the gundam thing it's just ripping off fortnite Fortnite, it works in that universe. It's kind of it was built that way. Call of Duty, they have lost their identity completely, which is why you have so many different fan bases with it. You have like the old disgruntled fans that hate it now, like me. <laughs> you have the new school fans, which are you know the younger generation that they just think of it's they think, think it's like a manlier Fortnite or something. I don't know, but yeah, I think they lost their way around uh, Black Ops Two to Ghosts and. They got some of that mojo back with Warzone and Battle Royale, but that gets all the focus now, and the actual games they churn out every year are terrible, just awful. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I think, for me, Call of Duty, I, I was always a big defender of Call of Duty a decade or so ago. I felt like it was a... it, And I said this many, many times. I feel like Call of Duty, at the time, was was one of the best values in video games, where mm -hmm. you, you received a main single-player campaign, you received um, fully flushed out multiplayer, and then you received zombies at the time, right? Yeah. And uh, like you got three very flushed out games in one sixty dollar pro, uh, you know, product. And uh, you know, I, I caught heat for that, but I, at the same time, I like give me a better value. I, yeah, I thought it was great. Um, you know, they as uh, as Eric said, they introduced battle royale, which I think was very important for them to do to keep up with Fortnite, to keep up with um, to keep up with, uh, you know, PUBG and everything else that was going on. That was the new trend, like the traditional 5v5 multiplayer or 8v8 multiplayer, whatever it may be. Um, that that's like as old, you know, that was, that was 2010. Right. And that's kind of like the, the, the video game industry wants, uh, the, the trends have changed. Right. So they had to keep up with the trends, but you talked, you said something BT that, that I think, um, should not be overlooked is the idea of, like the Fortniteification, if I can coin a phrase right now, the Fortniteification of video games and Call of Duty, you said was setting the trends, and now they are following the trends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is Fortnite that dominant? Dominant where they have to start following Activision is following what's happening at Fortnite. I'd say so. A a on the BR front, yeah, because as far as I know, Fortnite's still the number one you know, uh, BR in town and Warzone's number two. Uh, so yeah, I think they, I think they're more of a follower than a, than a trendsetter now for sure. Especially considering just this past year, they've released, uh, arguably the worst value in gaming. Funny. You should mention that with modern warfare three, which was, it was like a two hour campaign, which was horrible. Um, the multiplayer was essentially a, it was just a, like a patch an update for modern warfare two. That was essentially nothing different. They just rehashed a bunch of maps and, you know, 
uh, changed a few things and called it a day, copy and paste. And the zombies was just a copy and paste on uh, DMZ from last year, which was like the one innovative thing they did, but then they dropped it within a year. So uh, $70 too, went up $10. So worst value in gaming now for, for that particular game. And uh, I don't know. I think all the focus is on the BR. And while they've had some definite missteps and uh, guys like Dr. Disrespect say it's in the worst state it's ever been, which is he's probably right. But uh, I think the, the BR is their main focus. Everything else is just like a way to funnel you into the store. Sad, sad to say, the, the MTX store. And uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It, it, it's lost its identity as far as what it was initially. And X Defy, I think, has come along and kind of reinvigorated that style of get that old school, just 2010 style of, of game. And uh, I think they're going to actually have competition this year. So I'm hoping they put some effort into the actual multiplayer and the $70 game that comes out now that they do have competition. But it remains to be seen. Has uh, has X Defiant made any waves? Because I know Blabs was big on X Defiant. She was talking about it six months ago. She's like, you "Gotta hear about this game, X Defiant. You gotta see it." And she's, you know, you played it when it first came out, and you said you enjoyed it. Blabs. Yeah, I played um, the two betas also. So yeah. have, we, nice. have we seen any any uh, I don't know any of the, for lack of a better term, market share? Has there been a large influx of people playing? How many people are playing X Defiant on a day to day basis? Do we do we have any idea? The last I heard, uh, they hit, um, it was on Insider Gaming, I believe, they hit uh, 8 million unique Ooh. players. And then I think the, the number I saw going around was 700,000 concurrent players in one day, which is pretty good uh, considering, I, I think it's way higher than Ubisoft. Even, I think it was Ubisoft's fastest growing game as well. Um, 2.5 million people checked it out the first day yeah, when the servers weren't there were messing servers out. down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, there's like as far as my channel goes, like it's getting more views and attention than, than Call of Duty, the new Call of Duty, or even Black Ops 6 is getting. So there, there's definitely like Call of Duty has alienated for I guess like a you know the trendier crowd. They've alienated the the more hardcore fan base, the the mm -hmm. old school guys. And I mean you can't make everybody happy. And then I think X Defiant saw that, hey, Battlefield's kind of dead in the water. Halo Infinite was kind of a flop. Uh, Call of Duty's just kind of releasing, you know, <laughs> D-tier $70 yearly releases. Let's see if we can do something here. And we're still in the preseason. So uh, I'm excited to see what they do as kind of a live service model going forward. I, I love the game, though. I, I legit love the game. I'm not getting paid off right hand of god <laughs> so um but yeah just i just love it. it feels like black ops 2 it feels like a sequel to black ops 2 to me personally so you're saying x defiant does yeah yeah right uh eric what have you what would you be more inclined to play a new call of duty uh with a br or like something old school like uh like x defiant do you have a do you have a preference and there's I, no wrong i haven't answer. i haven't tried x defiant yet I, I these days if i'm playing a shooter i'm kind of jumping into a br or mm -hmm. I, I like to call of duty's uh dmz too I was yeah. playing that a lot, going on solo and just trying to wreck squads and wreck their day. It was kind of fun. Right, uh, right. I think the issue with the Call of Duty, I don't know if it was so much chasing Fortnite as it's chasing the dollar signs of microtransactions. If you look at Madden, you look at Fortnite, you look at Call of Duty, they're all just releasing the same game every year and just having new skins. It's all about Madden Ultimate Team or it's all about FIFA making your all-star team. Or having the best skin in Call of Duty, it's it. That's all they're focusing on is a microtransaction. Even like Grand Theft Auto with you know new cars every month, people that that companies are focusing more on making money than innovating. Yeah, and that's what's really ki killing the gaming industry for people who want actual you know something new rather than just recycled content. Agreed. Yeah, that too. You know, to kind of piggyback on that, if you look at uh, at this, we are approaching literally two decades of annual releases for Call of Duty. Since 2005, there's been a Call of Duty every single year, mm -hmm. every single year. And they have gone out and they've acquired, you know, Infinity War. They were the ones who did uh, the, the OG 2007 version. And they went out and they acquired Sledgehammer and uh, Treyarch and, and to... to 
to build these games, Raven Software, right? Uh, they acquired these studios specifically so they can have an annual release of Call yeah. of Duty. Yeah. Um, I was asking the that, that actually because wasn't uh, Modern Warfare Three supposed to be a DLC? It wasn't yeah. supposed to be a real game, right? It was supposed to be an. Yeah, that's why I say it was a patch they charged seventy dollars for. It yeah. was supposed to be uh, a DLC, and they changed it last minute and gave they us a two-hour campaign. Release, and, yeah, mm -hmm. yep. that's crazy. Um, Aaron came in with the twenty-dollar super chat. Says I disagree with the Fortnite assessment. Um, even after the original flopped and they released uh, BR, uh, it wasn't this current form where where it's in where the only news is when they have the Lady Gaga concert. Uh, it was a slow descent over three years. Yeah, and that's that's the one people one thing people forget about. And thank you, Aaron, for that. One thing people forget about with Fortnite was you know like Fortnite when it it first came out flopped. It was a spectacular flop, um, mm -hmm. and it wasn't until they copied PUBG with the battle royale formula that they took off as a free as, as a free to play game. And they then ultimately revolutionized the free to play model with the mm -hmm. season pass and everything associated with that. So. Uh, Fortnite as itself is a is a copycat of of PUBG, which was a copycat of uh, what DayZ or whatever it was from back in the day. That's uh, a good point. Mod. Yeah, that's uh, a really good point. Yeah, hmm. um, yeah I mean, it tested Fortnite when it was still just a tower defense game. That was before right. it was ever announced to have battle royale. Yeah, and then battle royale is what it, like. I don't even. Can you even still play the the original concept of Fortnite? The the reason it's called Fortnite, where you're supposed to build a fort. And survive the night when zombies, waves of zombies come at your base. That just sounds like that, Minecraft. That's why it's called Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Well, I, and I think Blabs, and that's there's got to be a Fortnite documentary on YouTube. Someone's got had to have done this because, yes, you can still play the original mode. Does anybody play the original mode? No, because it's not exciting. Nobody cares. <laughs> that, that, that's a great example of when Fortnite, the original version of Fortnite, was being developed. It was being developed to be uh, because like zombie games were really popular. And yeah. over the course of three or four year development time, guess what? Trends changed and all of a sudden, here we are, your game flopped. And everyone's like, Fortnite's gonna be the greatest thing. And it got thrown out and it got rejected to half court. You know, the gamers didn't wanna, didn't wanna deal with it. So. Even, they didn't even change before 1.0. Like the tower defense game, it was just, it was like two months out of open beta or maybe even closed beta. That I remember playing, and then they announced Battle Royale. Like I, I have props to Fortnite for adapting so quickly to the mm -hmm. Battle Royale trend, which is what <clears throat> skyrocketed its success. Because it got announced, and like a month later, it's like here's the Battle Royale version, and everybody started playing that. But yeah, yeah, and which I think that um, you know says a lot about the engine that they built uh, with Fortnite, their ability to, to modify and scale so quickly. Cause apparently it was done uh, just a couple, a couple of developers were like, well, I like that PUBG." So they, they made it, it was like a couple of developers that went in they, they yeah. made yeah. the uh, mode in their spare time. And <laughs> I hope those developers are insanely rich right now <laughs> because mm -hmm. they, they deserve, uh, all the wealth from that. So, um, yeah, it was launched, uh, September. The original version of Fortnite was launched in 2000, uh, September 26, 2017. Um, oh no, no, that was the PVP mode. That's that's what they called it, the PVP battle royale mode. Um, so I don't know what the when the original game launched, but it, it, but it, the uh, battle royale was launched in September 26, 2017, and that's when the money started rolling in for those guys. So good god. All right, well, uh, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you your thoughts on uh, the upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops 6 BT. <laughs> it's uh probably going to suck and it has nothing to do with treyarch i think treyarch makes the best call of duty games like i think they make i think they've made the best consistently good call of duty games i should say they've had a miss with cold war a little bit but most people will blame the pandemic for that one um i think that treyarch is the best dev but everything behind the scenes from the multiplayer servers to the insane microtransactions to the fact that they don't want to give you the best game they can give you because they, what are they going to sell you next year you know they learned their lesson with ghosts and black ops 2 i think with that uh i think it's going to be better than what we've gotten in the past several years but i don't think it's going to be this insane blockbuster like the old days call of duty because there's just too much 
it's sort of like um I don't know. I, I compared it to Pimp My Ride in a, <laughs> in a recent video where Call of Duty on the outside, you know, PSPs in the rims, uh, popcorn machine in the passenger seat. Great. But the actual engine underneath the hood is still like this unreliable mess. You know, everything on Activision's end from the servers to the balancing to the the time crunch every single year to the fact that Treyarch's working with every studio and they're making two uh, rumor is they're making the next game right after this one. So I'm not even sure how that's going to work. If it's going to be another DLC thing or whatever, like seventy dollars DLC. I don't know. I'm 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 not optimistic in the slightest, but I'd love to be proven wrong. We'll see. <laughs> well, I, I guess I guess we'll see. Uh, kind of what happens. But in the meantime, you got you got another alternative to play with X Defiant, which is true. true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the channel will continue. It. What's that? Will I try X Defiant? Yeah. I, I don't know. You know, here's the thing. Um, We've talked about Ubisoft a lot with all the agenda that they're shoving in games. And uh, I'm curious, is there any of the uh, the agenda, the the message um, thrown in? Honestly, no. Not really. This is a game I think that Mark Rubin and the team pitched to Ubisoft and they're just like, hey, let us just make something. Trust us. Don't put your, you know, don't get your hands in the cookie jar. Let us just do our thing. Um yeah, it's not really. I mean, it remains to be seen what they do in future seasons, but I think they are just focused on making an old school shooter. It feels like it's a game back from 2012, for better or for worse. A lot of people are are saying it can feel dated, but man, that's what I want. I want, <laughs> I want dated. I want uh, just old classic arcade Call of Duty style shooters with the bad ideas. Captain Call of Duty, the good ideas taken over, you know, to this yeah, like, game. So even the women aren't like ugly. They actually have like a bit of hips and curvage to them. So like, yeah, I don't think it's uh, that bad in comparison to like other skins and characters that we're seeing in modern games. It's not anything I notice. Yeah, yeah. I just play, I just play the game, and they, and there's they always have options. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I have. I've been looking, and I haven't really seen anything. My my thing is, yeah, Ubisoft is kind of a huge piece of shit lately, but so are all gaming companies. So if the <laughs> game is genuinely decent right now and it's free, try it. Tell them, hey, this is what we like, right? You're mm -hmm. supposed to go with your wallet, so to speak. So if you're playing a I game that is good, why not? Well, and it's it, it. You know, you bring up a good point. It is free to play. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. It is free to play, so you can try it off and try it out. And if nothing else, you're uh, you, you don't, don't spend like any install. don't spend any money, and yep. uh, and you, you you're draining money out of their server costs. It'll be great. <laughs> 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 Slowly bring, bringing Ubisoft down. 